Walton Valley Fire and Rescue serves 454,000 citizens. We have 330 career firefighters. We have 108 administrative personnel. We have 21 fire stations, one of which is full volunteer. The trends we're seeing for first responders and their use of technology in the field is patient care and mobile health care. Eighty percent of our calls are patient care calls, EMS calls. So the, the quicker we can get that information to the firefighters, call information, patient care information to health providers, the better. A few years ago we realized that one of the favorite mobile devices for a fire chief's office were iPads. What they also wanted to do sometimes was access MobileCom, which was a legacy Windows app that we had to run, didn't have a lot of flexibility about how to present that. And we realized when we were using Vue that we could provide them with a desktop that just ran MobileCom, and they could connect using that client on an iOS device and access this legacy Windows app anywhere in the field. Mobility applications are absolutely critical because from a day-to-day -day basis, I could find myself in the middle of a wilderness situation in the Tillamook Forest to working in an urban setting of a, you know, a highly uh, dense population helping with a structural suppression or emergency medical response and having to command those resources whether it's requesting additional helicopters, fire engines, something along those lines. So my desk moves from location to location depending on what I'm doing on that specific incident. Why this is so valuable to us to have this information prior to responding on the call is it helps me match the resources with the needs of the call. So when we have a 911 call for assistance, I can instantly look it up on a remote device that's usually in my pocket or in my hand, find out exactly what the call is about from the call taker's note that's talking to the citizen that's requesting service. And looking at that, I can see that this is gonna require additional resources such as a chief officer to help land a helicopter, or that there are sufficient resources being dispatched on this initially so that we can be more efficient in cost saving and maintain availability of our units for that next call that's going to come in. Through us being able to use the mobile comm uh, application through our virtual desktop, I can gather information that I need to make decisions about the call that we're responding to. It could be something as simple as, as who called it in, so if we get there and can't find it, I can call that person back or it could be something as serious as a multi-victim car accident out here on the highway that we can see ahead of time what's going on. Without the mobile comm application on our desktop, on our iPads, I wouldn't have the detailed information that, that I do and couldn't make as educated decisions about our incident command planning as otherwise. The reason that being highly mobile is important for public affairs or public information officers is because we're on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And we need to be able to access not only real-time information about the incidents that we're responding to so that we can describe for our community and the news media what's happening nearby. We also need to access reports, uh, historical information, and other data that can help us give accurate information to the people that we serve. So VMware allows us to access the entire system within our reach. I would recommend VMware Horizon Virtual Desktop technology to other agencies facing the same challenges. The benefits that we've seen in administration and extending our enterprise network into the mobile and field environment have just been incredibly valuable and incredibly successful.